Hello everyone, welcome back. If you are into anything to do with perfumes, the Niche Fragrance Collector is all about that. It's all about amazing perfumes from around the world. We are still on the conversation of the NFC family. These are individuals who have a passion for fragrance as much as I do. And today I'd like to introduce a wonderful young lady, Laura, hello. Hello everybody. Now Laura, why are you here? So why are we having this conversation? <laughs> We're having this conversation because I love perfume, you love perfume, um, and I work in perfume day and night, and I live and breathe perfume. So that the audience understands who you are and how all these pieces come together, Laura works for an amazing company called T2M. They are an Australian distributor of some amazing perfumes from all around the world. I met with Laura. Now in that meeting, I remember that I was surrounded by perfumes and I was, I have to be honest, I was distracted between what you and I were, were talking and the perfumes that I had around me. Now at one stage you left, you went to get a notebook or something from your office. Okay. And in that moment, because I saw that you had the full Nishane right there in front of me and I wanted to smell Hachibat. I hadn't smelt it up until that moment. So I quickly jumped up and I sprayed it like a little kid in it, you know, like, like sneaking something. Anyway. That's right. Stupid, stupid, stupid me. The moment you walked in, the first thing you said to me, like, I'm smelling Hachibat. And I, I, I'm like, and you're like, why am I smelling Hachibat? And I'm like, I felt like a, like a kid caught with you his were... hand inside the cookie yeah. jar. So anyway, so Laura is, uh, she has, you have an amazing nose for picking up fragrance. I understand you shared with me that you can actually pick up perfumes that people are wearing. From a very young age, um, my sense of smell sort of, it was very prevalent. Um, you know, when mum was uh, at home uh, cleaning with bleach, I had to leave the house. Otherwise I'd be like, Ugh, I can't stand this smell. So good smells and bad smells have always been something that um, I've been very affected by. Um, and fragrance was something that I, I just found out very quickly. I had a, um, an interest for perfume. And so I started collecting bottles when I was 15, 16 years old. And then from there, um, I, any fragrance that I, if I smell something once, um, I'll be able to, to pick it out on the street if somebody walks by or if I smell it in the air, I know exactly what it is. So it's, um, it's really great. I've got a great scent memory. Not a great memory for anything else, but great for scent. <laughs> you sent me these amazing fragrances here. I'm gonna hand over to you now and you're gonna lead me as to which ones we're gonna try out first. I'm going to start with Hito. Um, now this is one of my favorites at the moment. It's a, it's a new fragrance on the market from Italy. So, but it's combining Japanese and Italian ingredients. Um, and it's part of a, a brand that's all about um, holistic well-being. It's about um, elevating the perception of natural beauty. So this is a fig perfume. And this is the best natural fig fragrance that I have come across. And I am completely obsessed with it. It's now become almost a signature scent for me. Every morning I wake up and I put it on. It starts off with Sicilian citruses, the citrus yuzu. You've got peony, pomelia, rose, azumi black tea, which is a really rare black tea. And then there's cherry tree flowers cedarwood, alamy as well, mandarin leaves and fig leaves. The idea of this perfume was that the, the woman behind the brand, Raffaella, she loved perfumes, but for about 20 years, she couldn't wear any perfume because she got these extreme headaches. So she actually right. said that she, one day she was in Bologna and she found this um, uh, little rollerball perfume in this cute little shop in Bologna. She stumbled upon it one day and uh, it was the first fragrance that she could wear. And the story goes that about a year or two later on her journey of creating Hito and her brand Wait, Wa stands for harmony in Japanese and IT stands for Italy. She was at the fragrance show Essence in Milan and she was standing next to this woman and she smelt her. She was wearing this perfume oil and she smelt her and she said, excuse me, you're wearing my perfume. And so that's how her journey began and, and, and that lady is now the perfumer for Hito. When you sent me this fragrance, I, 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 I blind smelled all of them because I just wanted to see what they were, what was it saying to me? And I didn't know this was a fig fragrance, but I sprayed it and it was green and I'm like this, I know this, 
I know this note and I keep smelling it and I'm like, I think it's fig, but it's a, it's not a fig like I've smelt before. This is a really, it was green, yeah. it was fresh. And I think also in those opening notes, those citruses, it was a citrus that I wasn't familiar with. So it could be the, that yuzu, that, 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 I guess that fusion, like you mentioned, yeah. right, between the Italian and the Japanese. But this is a beautiful fragrance. I actually wore this yesterday. I can see that this could be a very good, a wonderful signature fragrance like you mentioned. It's a great way to start the day. I think it's really uplifting. And I think I've been wearing this right. and this is my pick at the moment because of COVID. You know, I'm craving to be right. in nature. I'm craving to be mm. in a trip to Italy. I wanna be um, by the sea, smelling the fig trees. And that's, this takes me there. This, this perfume it's, me 100%. it's very meditative um, and and I it has got therapeutic benefits because she, she's got all of these natural ingredients in there and so it actually helps to relieve um, anxiety tension and stress and I'm like oh who doesn't need that right now the other one that I'm loving at the moment is Horace Tattoo by Palemois and it's all about Iris and this is by Michelle Olmerac um, and He's a, a, a master, you know, he created Gucci Rush, Dior Fahrenheit, um, the Chloe right. fragrance, the signature. So he's a master and this is all about Iris. And I think this is my um, favorite Iris fragrance because it's super wearable. It's quite modern um, and it's not too right. lipsticky or powdery as some Iris fragrances can mm. be, which can be quite polarizing, I think. There's this really beautiful, clean, elegant, soft fragrance. Again, it's a little bit more on the green side as well. So it's got that vegetal smell, which Iris does have. It's a great fragrance if somebody wants to break up with Santal 33 and wants something in that sort of cool edge, but um, different. So the, the Palimois fragrances, I think are just next level. Yeah. They're so diverse, they're so unique. Again, I sprayed it. I found it what you just shared. So sometimes Iris can be a little bit powdery, but I found this is very green. I found that this was very earthy almost. And then when I researched it, I noticed that it has Iris all the way through. The, the opening, the heart and the base. It's a full celebration of Iris. Lightly floral, very unisex, very um, sophisticated yes. on a man yep. or a woman. Yep. It's easy wearing. Again, I, I like to layer with this a lot, play around and, and see what works together right. because it is so easy wearing. And I find that I have been gravitating to more uh, clean, easy wearing green type fragrances. And I know that um, uh, green is not always the most popular. There's a term, I don't know if you're beast mode, and yeah. meaning that it wants the, you know, big punchy, yeah. longevity, you know, uh, lasts for years and years. Um, whereas I, I find that clean fragrances, uh, they don't have that level of punch, but th th they're designed to be something else. And I think the th some of the points that you just drew on now is that these are these are almost fragrances for your soul in that yeah. they they use different ingredients and it brings a it brings a different air about you which I really love like this one here I'm going to go back to Hito I really I enjoyed wearing this for me and I and I'm glad that you've mentioned that it was almost therapeutic 100% there is a calmness well, that I found in this fragrance really enjoyed really enjoyed wearing it Last one. Last one, tell me about... Sona. Sona. Now this is uh, very, very experimental. And the first time I smelled Sona, right. I just went, wow, this is, um, you know, this is really getting me going. You know, I'm, I'm like tingling all over because the, you know, in terms of perfume these days, there's so many new releases on the market and it's so hard to, to find something that's unique and stands out from the crowd. And I think that Sona, it was exactly that for me. And I actually um, loved it from the first instance of smelling it. But then I smelt it on a, a colleague of mine when she put it on one day. And she has the most incredible skin. I don't have per perfect fragrance skin. You know, when you meet somebody and, you, and you, you're not even that close to them and you can already smell them and they've just got, you know, fragrance blooms on their skin. So she was wearing it and I went, oh my God, that is insane on the skin. The way that it develops and how it activates 
once it's hit the skin and the heat of your skin, it's incredible. So the idea of Sona is that Sona is a, a music festival that spans Barcelona, almost a little bit like White Night in Melbourne. And it's all these different sort of electronic music events that span the city. And so this is the scent of sound, of community, of, you know, being at a festival. And you've got really interesting notes. Italian bergamot, pink pepper, and then we have tuberose, a beer accord, saffron, and the base is metallic vibrant woods and vanilla. It's going to be quite polarizing, I think, for some, and, and there is something almost um, sweaty about it. But in a, in, for me, it's any time I've worn this, I get so many comments because it is a really unique scent. Can I say, when I sprayed this one here, yeah. I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> I, I'm like, it. I felt like I got sideswiped with something because on opening note, I'm like, what? I'm like, and I looked at the bottle, I'm like, did I spray? Did, what have I just sprayed? What, is, what are we talking about here? I looked at the notes that you just shared and I'm like, I am not getting any of that. You know, uh, uh, pink pepper and I'm coming completely honest. On, on the opening, I'm like, what is, it just took me by surprise. I had no idea what was going on. On the dry down, as I was walking around, I'm like, what is that smell? I'm smelling something unique, something different. I'm smelling something exciting. And because I had, I, I was covered in perfume and, and I'm smelling different parts of my, of my arm. And I came to Sona and I'm like, my gosh, this has transformed into something else. Yeah, it does. It really transforms on the skin. This is my party fragrance to, you know, go dancing. I find it quite seductive in its own way. I found that this one lasted longer on, on my skin. Is that the same for you? Did you find the same? Sona, Sona lasts all day on the skin. I was experiencing that. Whereas, whereas Hito, not so much. It, it, it was... Uh, probably about four or so hours. Yeah, I'd say I'd say so. It's in its prime in the yeah. first four hours. Um, the uh, the idea of Hito actually is that they have a whole skincare line, and so the idea is that you each product is the same scent, so it layers onto your skin. Wow. And then when you finish a spritz with the Hito, that's where the scent will last all day, and you'll just you know you just smell up this juicy fig tree. If these resonate with you, if those those particular fragrance families resonate with you, then I would encourage that you check out these perfumes. They're, they are exceptional. They're very unique. Uh, Sona, I'm going to give you again a heads up, just allow it to evolve. So opening spray will we'll ha we'll have you a little bit on your toes, but as it settles, it actually becomes something very, very unique. Laura, thank you for your time. My I appreciate you coming on. pleasure. Once we get out of lockdown, we're actually gonna be doing some work together, which I'm really excited about. Laura, as, as she mentioned, she is a master at being able to find fragrances for situations, um, able to communicate, I guess, a way to, I mean, fragrance is about expressing ourselves. Mm. And Laura has the ability of lining of fragrances for occasions. Watch this space. Watch this space. <laughs> Thanks everyone. Ciao.